Welcome back, it's Melanie or She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout using the Lake Life collection from Bella Boulevard. I have three photos here of my son and my cousin and some of her kids frog poking. Um, this was actually after my grandma's funeral, I believe. We all got together at my grandma's house and she's got a pond out back. Uh, and it's just something we used to do as kids. And so we decided to kind of do the same thing with our kids now. Um, I chose Lake Life because I knew that there were some frogs in this collection and just thought it would be really fun um, to use up all of the frogs. So I am going to end up using the kind of busier paper um, and I cut that at two inches and then I just added the green and I believe that is just a one inch strip. Um, and then I decided to use the scallop border from the sticker sheet and unfortunately ripped it while I was <laughs> tearing it off. Um, so I did have to kind of piece it together and um, it worked out okay because I it's in like the perfect spot to cover up with an embellishment and so that's what I end up doing. So once I get kind of the papers done, I am going to kind of make a grid with these photos. Uh, initially, I thought I was going to use a cut apart um, down to fill in that bottom left spot. However, I didn't find one that really worked or was the size I was hoping for. Um, and so I decided that would be a great spot to add my title. I found this kind of border strip of these frogs and just thought they were adorable. And again, just trying to use up all of the frogs. Um, and so I added that to the bottom, which was really helpful. I, you can see I kind of added my photos towards the top, which left a white space on the bottom. And then the border also kind of gave me an anchor for my title or for kind of, um, I'm going to spoil it, the little scene that I kind of put together at the bottom. It just provided a good anchor down and kind of closed off that space, if that makes sense. So I had to figure out what to use or what alphas to use for my title. I knew that my title was going to be frog poking. Um, if you've never done it, all you do, you take a stick, you search for the frogs on the bank, and then you like poke them and just watch them hop off. There's no harm to the frogs or that's not, or that's the intent is not to harm the frogs, but just to kind of find them and move them along and just watch them, um, I guess in their habitat and go searching for them. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if anybody else does this or is this something that we just kind of made up as a family. I am kind of curious. Um, so I decided to use the blue alpha from the doohickey sheet. I think that's what they call the sticker sheet here um, for my poking. And then I actually have a red alpha from Bella Boulevard that um, I'm going to use for the word frog. So I just am going to kind of piece them together. Um, initially, I thought I would add them to the bottom. Uh, but then I realized it would be easier to fill in the bottom space uh, with kind of like a scene rather than the top space. So I am actually going to move the picking to the top. Uh, a lot of times I will just lightly place my alphas down um, and not, not press them down so that I can move them easily. So that's kind of what I did with this one. And then I decided just to kind of excuse me, instead of making it straight across, kind of just stagger my title. Um, and then that scalloped circle with the frog in the middle just worked really well, one, to fill in the space next to the word frog, but then two, that covers up the um, rip in the scallop there. So going through the ephemera now, I kind of liked having the cattails at the bottom. Again, kind of trying to fill in that space with 
maybe like more of a scene than anything. Um, found a turtle with a frog on top and thought that was really cute. Um, really just sticking with the whole frog theme. So you can see I am just kind of picking out anything that is maybe frog or pond related. So uh, the cattails, the frogs, the net I thought was perfect. Um, I did hesitate because I could I could use that on a fishing layout. However, it just seemed like it fit in that space really nicely to the left um, with that cluster there. And then a dragonfly, and I thought that would be really cute as well in that left-hand cluster. So now, working on the bottom, I did bring in different kind of wave elements. I did have... Um, uh, the epoxy stickers, I think is what they are. And then a bigger uh, piece of ephemera that is in the shape or whatever of a wave. Uh, so just kind of filling in that bottom space. And I thought it was just a really fun way to do so. Um, now looking for other embellishments. So I have kind of the icon embellishment pack. And then there's more of like a title uh embellishment pack as well and so kind of just playing around looking for other elements to use from each of the um, embellishment packs i will say yes they're a little bit more expensive but you get so many pieces in each of these embellishment packs from bella boulevard um definitely worth the extra money so i kind of really like the way that everything is kind of shaping up. Um, not much else that I really want to add to this. Uh, so I am going to start kind of committing to the placements, um, especially the bottom. I just thought that was just so fun. I love how, and I'm thankful that I had two different cattails um, just to kind of close that off at the bottom as well. Uh, and then the turtle, I did decide to move more towards the right. Uh, just to kind of maybe elongate that cluster and just pull something else towards the right hand side on the bottom. So now just finishing up uh, committing to kind of all of the fun on the middle cluster there. There's so many pieces, way more than I usually do, but I just felt like everything just fit together nicely. Um, I did take away that cattail. It just uh, kind of looked out of place, I guess. And so I did take that away. And then I am going to pop up the arrow here, I believe, on some foam tape. And then when I get to the top cluster, I decide that I, instead I want to kind of move it towards the middle a little bit. Uh, so I do. I add that nature lover and then the little uh, frog. I did pop up on foam tape as well, I believe. That element I feel like needs something else. Uh, and at the moment, I can't remember what else I add. If I'm going to be completely honest, I did this layout quite a while ago. I had some free time at the end of summer before school started. So I worked way ahead and I'm just now getting to the <laughs> voiceover. So I added a little red heart just to kind of finish off that cluster. I will link this collection down below. I think it is the perfect outdoor summer collection, but I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and we will see you next time. Bye guys.